Okay, so I had the watch there. This is a wiring video that came with uh, the Easy Spider. And I had to watch that several times. And I think I got the pattern right. It was, didn't seem to be too logical on which order the wires go. I would have probably made a consistent pattern, but it wasn't. So if you watch the video enough times, then it becomes a. Uh, I won't say obvious, but doable to get the wires where they're supposed to go. And they have a little description down here too, but that seems a little bit confusing as well. Put the top back on that guy. Okay, so it's starting to come along. Okay, so here I try to make a chart to make this easier to understand. And um, here's the key. I have a F for front, B for back, L for left, and R for right. And labeling the servos one, two, three. So for instance, uh, D2 would be BL2, back left two. And here's our chart to, uh, you know, you know, maybe this will help you hook up all the wires without having to follow the video. Maybe the video is easier for you. But anyway, here is a chart to, to hook up the wires if you prefer doing it that way. And I hope this helps. And we'll go on to the next step of programming. Okay? Okay, so we have... Um, here, let's get some of this stuff out of the way. We've, we've uh, got our quad quad robot that we've been working on here. I've got it all wired up now. And uh, I guess the next step is, is try to uh, flash the robot. Here, here's the Thingiverse page with uh, the proper Arduino uh, sketch co or code. And um, so here's the uh, Thingiverse 2901132. And uh, if we go down a little bit, it says Arduino code at the GitHub. Okay, so let's click on that. And, um, okay. Uh, okay, so they got a link back to there. Let's just, let's click on here for a second. Flex timer. I'm not sure what all this stuff is. QArray firmware INO. Okay. Uh, let's see. Remote control crawling robot. I don't think we're going to do remote control because I don't have the um, need to put uh, some kind of wireless communication on it. Um. Library implementing a generic dynamic queue. This program, you should. Okay, I'm not sure what this does. Looks like we got a bunch of different things to choose from. Maybe what I'll do is I'll just. Uh, Let's see, here's the readme file. Okay. Okay, I thought there was one in here where uh, it would just make the robot walk around randomly. Uh, H. Okay, this one doesn't have any comments at all. Okay, so maybe what I'll do is I'll just download all these uh, files and try to figure out which ones are useful and which ones aren't. Okay, so here it is. It's downloading probably into my um, downloads uh, folder. And we'll take a look through there and 
load them up on Arduino and, and see what's going on. Maybe try to flash the robot. Okay. Okay, so here it's a 3D printed robot, and it's been a little while. I uh, couldn't get to this project. But we got it all wired up now, and uh, we're going to try to flash it. And I believe I showed in one of my videos. So we have this, this little switch here, and I believe down position makes it run off the battery and up position allows you to flash it and we're going to want it in the up position to flash it and this is the on and off switch over here and so we're going to try to hook it up to our uh, USB on our computer and see if we can flash the uh, program to run this robot here our uh, 3D printed robot okay okay so we got the um this is where it's saved it under our downloads, the Easy Arduino Spider program. And I did do a little bit of research, and the INE, INO file is actually uh, the file that does the automatic walking as well as the remote control. And I believe there's a parameter that you have to set in there. So here's Sketchbook for the Arduino. It's a, it's a uh, folder where sketches are saved. I think I have a couple different folders, but you, you can stick in your favorite one. I'm going to copy it, or not copy it, just move it from uh, downloads to um, sketchbook. Okay, so I'll, I'm just going to move it there. And so what we're going to want to do is unzip this probably. We'll say extract here. Okay, so now we have a folder there, and uh, let's let's just load up. This is our Arduino INE, or yeah, and we're gonna load up from the sketchbook under firmware firmware INO. That's the only sketch that you can open up. Okay, so firmware INO, and let me get rid of this. So here is our program for our Arduino robot. And okay, so it's Boolean random walk equals fall, false. Auto mode equals true. So I I think we're going to want to change this to true. Let me just change the false to true. And uh, let's set some things up. Where did our robot go? Here's our robot. And I switched the switch into programming mode, I think. If not, it's 50-50, right? Or my friend uh, in grad school used to say 50-50-90. Whatever, it's a 50-50 chance. 90% of the time you're wrong. So, anyway, hopefully we're right. I think I... I checked it with one of my old videos, my Huduino video. Okay, and here we go. Let's take a look at this guy. And we got him plugged in, and the lights are blinking and everything. And uh, let's see if a uh, couple things we have to make sure of. We have to make sure that uh, we're programming the Huduino. Let's see. And we also got to make sure that it's on the right serial port. Okay, I think that might be the right serial port. And um, this is not an AT Mega. We want who do we know? Isn't that right? Oh man, I get too many things on here. I think the Huduino is the same as the Nano. Is that right? Let's look that up to make sure. Okay, this looks like about the right spot. So you want to choose Arduino Nano. And um, I'm using Linux here, so people who are using Windows, this would be a little bit different. So 
what we want to do is we're going to go into uh, tools and um, we're going to set the board up. And I did a little bit of research and I found out that uh, the Who Do We Know is actually an Arduino Nano, but it's on a different. Okay, so Who Do We Know is an Arduino Nano. It's been a little while since I've done this, so. Okay, we're going to want to set the board to the proper board. So we're going to set that to Nano. And I think the serial port is right. Uh, if it's not, we'll try a different port. Okay, and I think we should be good to go. Let's try uploading. Okay, uploading. Programmer is not responding. Doesn't seem like a good sign. Okay, I don't know. I just fiddled with it a little bit. I just uh, uh, unplugged the uh, Arduino and plugged it back in. That's really all I did. And uh, you could tell which port was the one that came up. We go to uh, ports. This one was already there, and then this one appears when you plug in your device. And uh, so we have it on the Nano, and I just got through uploading it. I'll try uploading it again. And there we go. It says the sketch was uh, uploaded fine. Okay, so I think we're good to go. Shall we try uh, powering up the robot and see what happens? Okay. Okay, so we have this thing plugged in here, and I'm, I'm just going to unplug it. Okay, and uh, I'm a little bit worried this thing's going to start running around or something. I'm going to change this from programming mode to operating mode, and we'll try turning the on switch on and see what happens. Ooh, you know what? I think I took the lithium battery out. So let's put a lithium battery into this guy, and then we'll try doing that. Okay. Okay, so here's our lithium battery, and I'm probably going to have to set the camera down to shove it into this battery holder down here. And so let's stick that in there and see how, see if the robot works. Okay, okay so the battery kind of the spring side back there. Let's kind of stick it in. Oop. Well, what's it doing? Okay, one thing I was going to mention is the next thing we're probably going to have to do is calibrate the servos because when I put them in, I did not put them in in a calibrated way so they may not be in the right position. Maybe they're having problems. So it's looking pretty weird right now. Some of them are at the extremes of their operation. So maybe I'll try to... Uh, looks like it's trying to do something definitely trying to do something. I think some of the servos are stalled out because they're at the end of their operation. So I'm going to have to probably take out these little, um, uh, I don't know what you call them, the nylon pieces that position them and uh, reposition them at a better place because it looks like at least this one's at the end of its travel here and it's not really standing too well. So I'm going to try to adjust this servo here. And there might be some other ones that need to be adjusted, too. Okay. That's, that's weird. Okay. Well, let me stop the camera. It's definitely doing something. Okay. There we go. Weird robot thing. Okay, so here's a servo that's overextended. Then I'm gonna remove the screw. Oh man, these are not easy to get out. I guess it's not too bad. Okay, so I'm gonna pull that screw out. And then I found if you have a jeweler's screwdriver, it's easier to get these little nylon things out. Okay. Now I'm gonna pull that thing out. And once that's pulled out, I can rotate the leg down into an more central position because obviously it was past where it should be. I can stick the nylon thing and 
straight nylon arm to lock it into place. And uh, maybe I'll just put the screw back in so I don't lose it. And we'll start it back up and see if this, this leg behaves a little bit better. Shit. Oh, fortunately, that hit my foot when it dropped on the floor. So it's easy to find. But if it didn't, I always got my super magnets, and those are pretty good at finding screws on the floor. Okay. That's probably good enough. So let's try turning her back on and see if this... Okay, so that leg is in a more normal position. Okay. Oh, well, look at that. Okay. Okay. I may have to fiddle with the servo some more because I didn't make sure that they're all in the right spot or not. Looks like it's a little bit. Maybe they're not in the right positions for the back. So we'll fiddle with that. You know, one of the things you're supposed to do is adjust the servos and make sure that they're calibrated. And so, might make that into the next video. It looks like it's working electronically. It's just, it just may not be calibrated properly yet. Okay. Anyway. Uh, Dr. James and thanks for watching.